On this episode of The Sequence, I will show you how to install MPC expansions on both the MPC software and the MPC. Let's begin. The Sequence. So I will have a link in the description box to this website right here, which is the official Akai website where you can buy your MPC expansions. And I will show you how to install this Snipe Young uh, Presents Volume 1 Pure Platinum. A really dope pack here. And we'll talk about that more in another video. So I just want to begin with the tutorial. So let's start there. Step number two. Well, I think it's on step number two is to download it after you purchase it. Once you purchase it, you know, it will download like this on Windows. And of course, this will be for Windows and Mac here, guys. It's not really different of a process when you do it on Mac. So yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. So once it's done downloading, I'll show you what is next. So, okay, it's finished downloading. So right now I'm just going to go into this option right here, which is show in folder and it's right here. So what I'll do is make it a little easier on all of us and I will cut it and then I will paste it on my desktop. Yes, I know my desktop is a little nasty, but you, you'll get over it here. Um, now, the next thing you want to do is this. Uh, you want to click on this right here, which is the setup execution file. Click on that setup execution file and then this will pop up. So accept the agreement. Go next, then hit install. Simple as that. We'll wait until it's done. Now it is finished. So the next thing I will do is hit finish. And we're done with that. So let's go ahead and navigate to the MPC software. And we'll open it up. And I can happily go over here and click on this right here, which will bring up all of the kits. So let's go ahead and preview some of the kits here. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the kids were, are working. So if you don't see this screen right here, you need to go to the bottom right part of the MPC software or the MPCB software and click on this right here. So you have different options where you can see just the expansion. Uh, you can see file browser and so forth, but you want to be in the media browser, which will have your MPC expansions here as I am fully loaded here. The next thing we want to do is just pull one up so we can see if it's working or not. And just like that, you're done. But wait, how do I get that into the MPC Live XR1? Well, it's pretty simple. So the first step is make sure that you have an SD card inside of your MPC Live or X. And the reason why I'm talking about that Live or the X, well, the MPC one will not allow you to do a certain step. So if you have an SD card slot on your computer, then insert it in your computer. So from right here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna insert it, and then I'm gonna plug it up and make sure that everything is incorrectly. The next thing, make sure that you have the proper cord. Make sure you have the proper USB 3 to type A, okay? So make sure you use the cord that comes with your MPC Live and X and plug it up. Now it's plugged up. I can just turn on my MPC Live. I don't need any of my audio cables or anything like that because all I'm doing is just moving the file over. Now that the MPC is on, just go to this menu button right here and then go to this button right here, which says MPC. So press MPC, controller mode, and now you hear that it's hooked up, at least on Windows, that's what you will hear. And there you go. If you're not running the latest firmware, make sure that you update, okay? By the way, I do have a video on how to update your firmware, so the link will be in the description box, just in case you are new. So everything is hooked up. I'm in controller mode and you still hear the same sounds. So here's a little bit of proof of that as I'm tapping on the pads. Yeah, so everything is working. So the next step, go over here to the top left part of the MPC software 
click on those three bars, go to file, go to export, and go to expansions. The next thing you're going to do is select your proper removable drive. So you'll know. And the next thing we're gonna do is find that bank or that expansion, which is Snipe Young Presents Volume One. Click on this and then go to export. It will start the exporting process and it will go to your SD card. After you're done with the process, it will say expansion export success, the export operation completed successfully. If you do not see that, then that means you need to do the process again and make sure that it's done properly. Select OK. Now we'll exit out of controller mode. So let's go ahead and do that. So go to menu, go right here where it has that computer sign and then switch back to standalone. Now we're sent back to the project selection screen. I'm gonna select empty project, so you should too as well. And now we're gonna hit on the MPC Live 2 that is. We're gonna hit menu twice and it'll bring up browse or you can hit shift and browse and now go to your expansions. So right here is where you will see the pure platinum expansions if everything is done correctly. Let's go ahead and I'm going to turn on the speaker. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. Woo. Yeah, so everything is working tight and I'm good to go. So I guess the next thing I could do is just pull up one of these kits here and go to the main and test it out. Mm, it is working. Simple as that, we are done. If you're using an MPC-1, I just want to reiterate or just say this and make it clear. Uh, you cannot hook up your MPC-1 to the computer and use the SD card slot. I don't know why, that's what Akai chose. Perhaps somebody will suggest that in the future, but for right now, you would just have to use your SD card slot on your laptop or your desktop, and you'll be able to do that exact same process that I just showed you. And then insert it inside of your MPC-1 and you're good to go. Somebody's gonna get mad at that. So, tell me how you feel about this video. Was it useful for you? And I know it's been a minute since I've done an MPC video, so I thought I'd christen it up with a tutorial. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions, and I will get to them momentarily.